Hey there, it's Jim Fisk from Janku, and I want to upgrade my Windows 8 computer to Windows 10. I'm going to actually end up dual booting this computer with a Linux operating system, but just in case I need to have a Windows fallback, I want to make sure that I have that valid Windows 10 operating system as well. So I found this article here from the bleepingcomputer.com that tells you how to do that. So I'm just going to go through that process real quick now. So let's come down here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Windows 10 download page. I'm going to click this here button here. So this is Microsoft.com and it's the Windows 10 download and we'll click download tool now. So let's downloading an exe file, an executable file here. So I'll click on this now that it's downloaded and I'm going to say yes, allow this to make changes to my computer. And then I'll come in here and I'll accept the terms and conditions from Microsoft. And then I'm going to actually upgrade this PC now directly. So I'll press next here. So this is saying that I need additional free space on my C drive and I actually don't have a lot of space here. So if I were to come over here and search for disk and create and format hard disk partitions, you notice here that I have a lot of partitions. So I've actually already booted this computer with several different operating systems. So I have MX Studio for Linux audio recording and they also have an Ubuntu 16 computer as well. So I can actually come in and delete some of these old partitions and then I can increase the size of this primary C partition here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll come in here and I'll delete this volume. And now I'll allocate this 449 gigabytes. And you'll see here though, if we right click on this, we can't actually extend this volume. So Let's go here and let's delete this volume right to the right of this. It's another partition that was not created by Windows. So we'll say, yes, we want to delete it. And now we're able to extend this volume. So let's go and just take a look at this real quick. So if we do next, you can see that the amount that we're able to extend this by is the unallocated amount there. So we can extend it by a maximum of 7628 megabytes. I could do less if I wanted to but I'm going to extend it by the maximum here. Say next and finish. So we see that we just increased the size of this C drive here. That's fine. And let's just go and go back to our installation wizard. We'll run the media creation tool one more time. We'll say yes. I'll accept the terms and then I'll upgrade the PC now, click next. Okay, so then we have the Windows 10 set up and we're agreeing to the license term, so we'll say accept. Okay, at this point we can do the install and I'm going to have it keep all my personal files and then I'll just click install and this will start running the installation process. This will take quite a bit of time and will actually require a system restart. So we'll have to check in on the other side once this is completed. Let's go ahead and run this now. So after this initial Windows installation process finished, I was pushed over into the GNU Grub shell that looks something like this. Now I think I was presented with this option because I had already dual booted my computer with Ubuntu previously. And I think what was happening is since that was the default computer on my device, that it was sending me into that menu. I also might have deleted something when I was removing some of the previous partitions I had set up. Hopefully you won't see this, but if you do, you should be able to just follow these steps and complete the installation process that way. If you type the word exit in here and press enter, it will kick you over to a boot menu that will look something like this. Now if you select the second option here, the hard drive, solid state drive option there from Toshiba, that's the maker of my computer hardware, then you can select an option in there, the Windows Boot Manager. Now the first time I selected this, it kicked me back over into the grub shell. And the second time through here, I actually went and I selected the option number five where it says enter setup. And then that ran some installation process that looks something like this. And since this warns you that it's going to restart several times, I was pushed back into the GNU grub shell a couple different times. And each time after that, I was able to choose the second option using the Windows Boot Manager. Eventually, I was able to make it to a login screen. And after logging in, I got prompted that this setup would still take several minutes to complete. And then finally, I was presented with privacy settings that I just accepted before being logged into my new Windows 10 computer. Well, here we are on the other side and we have Edge opened up by default with this welcome to Windows screen here. And you'll notice here that our launcher is a little bit different format. If we were actually to come over here and go to our settings and go to our system 
and then scroll down here to about and scroll down on this page, you'll notice that we have the Windows Edition 10 Home here. So we are in the newer operating system now. So that's how you'd go about updating your Windows 8 to Windows 10 operating system with a previously dual booted computer with an Ubuntu operating system operating alongside with this. So we ran into a little bit of trouble along the actual upgrade path where it would boot into the GNU Grub boot system. But once you get around those couple weird parts, then the rest should be pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned to this channel for more content like this in the future. All right, take care.